Uh, yeah, so I'm going to echo uh, what my two uh, panelists uh, to my right had to say. Uh, you might get the same answer five times. But the <laughs> most important thing that we, my, that uh, Alex's uh, campaign achieved uh, was moving the conversation, creating a new discourse. Uh, really, people in Woonsocket were surprised that we even introduced uh, politics and ideology into a campaign. Like, where's your, where, where's your platform about a uh, trash collection schedule? You know, isn't that all city council person is supposed to do? Uh, that's, you know, something that we were able to, uh, to change, to change some serious thinking. And I think that's because people had never seen a candidate who didn't just care about the trash schedule. Uh, we had uh, a city council person, uh, who's still on there now, uh, who, in an interview a few years ago, blamed President Obama for the state of race relations in this country. Um, you know, he's the reason why they're deteriorating. Uh, we have, you know, supposedly, we have a uh, former city council person who said that, oh, you know, you know, we should just compromise and let Trump build the wall uh, because that's what's getting Republicans all riled up. And if we get, if we build the wall, then you know they'll stop being so mad. And we can get them all, just get them on, you know. Uh, and we have a city council full of people still who are adamant uh, climate deniers. And like, well, you know, even if climate change was real, and I still don't agree with that, uh, you know, what's the, you know, well, what can a city council person do uh, to really do affect change? So just by getting a young person elected who realizes just how important these issues that are really relevant for our diverse working class, not just uh, honing in on whatever the, the, the white working class is supposed to be caring about, right? That's what people talk about is the swing voters. Now, what does the diverse, growing, working class Americans, you know, what are the issues that are really relevant to them and to future generations in that working class? That created a new conversation already. Uh, Alex proposing uh, a resolution to condemn white nationalism. Uh, I know if any of you have followed that story. Thanks to Steve for reporting on all that. Yes. Yes. Uh, said resolution, said resolution was mocked, demeaned in city council uh, open uh, session, and then totally edited to basically become uh, a resolution that denounces uh, the idea of denouncing uh, particular <laughs> racial supremacy. Uh, so, you know, we had that. But what have we been able to achieve? Uh, Alex was able to just recently uh, get an uh, amendment passed that basically limited our, uh, the amount of money the city could spend on outside legal counsel. That uh, sounds very arcane. But, you know, Rhode Island, the uh, city's in Rhode Island, Woonsock in particular, has a history of just setting unlimited caps for spending to these lobbyists and lawyers. And then, oh, surprise, the bill comes due, and it's this massive amount of money, and, you know, who has to hold the bill? Uh, you know, it's the, it's the working people who pay their taxes. Uh, for, for what? We don't know. Things of paperwork? So, building a real conversation about what do the people actually want to do, and what do we actually need to achieve? That is something that, you know, every election, you know, first it's one city council person elected. You know, right now there we have two progressive members on the city council uh, in Woonsocket because one of the uh, incumbents has become more and more openly progressive since he came out in support of Alex. Uh, all the rest, you know, they were very loudly against us during the election. Uh, so now we've created, for the first time, political, real political rivalries based on ideology in the city of Woonsocket. That's a fascinating development. Next election, we're going to have a sleep process. Maybe we'll get more than just a few on. Maybe we'll take control of the city council. In the election after that, run a mayor. In the election after that, maybe one of those people can run for, uh, for higher office. And that is how we begin to build a coalition, not just in one city, but across the state.